Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just so ugly. I don't have some lip gloss. You guys don't see my ugly lips. As in, like, I know it causes attention to them. But my point is, like, I don't want you to, like, I have some spots on my lips. <laughs> so, you gotta. This height, so you can see a little sunspot. Why am I showing you my lips? Give me a second. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Today, I'm gonna go and show you some plantitas that have been making me super deeper hammy. Also, ignore the paleta in the background. That's for Corpus Girl. Uh, I was gonna eat also. Ah, uh, this carver piece is on the floor. I bought a lot of cardboard scratching poles for Valentino because he really does levels a lot. And he's kind of messy. Well, I am because I'm cleaning after him, but he's the one that causes the mess. So today, like I said, I'm going to show you guys some plants. I'm going to be going crazy. Honestly, this puts me to sleep. That's some good stuff. Excuse me. Ooh. I also have some sparkling water too, cause like it's really good and it's low on calories. Okay, I'm really excited, y'all. Honest, I'm procrastinating because there are so many plants. So let me count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There's twenty plants, but some are examples, some are propagations. The reason why. Okay, so what makes my favorite plants in the least? Either you're doing really good, or um, you're super duper cute, and you make me super duper happy. Every time I see you, you bring a smile to my face. And then number three, uh, you're really easy to look after, and I love you for that. <laughs> so let's just get started. Uh, a lot of these are, I think half of them are repeats, but girl, like, like, okay, that's how much I love them. Because I feel like someone's gonna comment, David, the palette, I cannot stop staring at it. <laughs> so it's gonna call me like, David, you always show these. I'm like, what well, duh? Like, that's how much I love them. If you don't have one, maybe you should get one. Anyways, so I guess I will show you the ones that I think I haven't showed before. On my favorite list videos, that mirror, I don't know if I just cannot see it, okay. I'm sorry, girl. There's something in my throat, okay. Here is a beautiful, my, <laughs> you're probably gonna be like, David, that is ugly. <laughs> it's, <laughs> she was uglier, but now she's so cute. She's bouncing back. If you guys remember, this is from the nest, well, the previous nest from the birds. And I couldn't water the plants. It was a beautiful, nice lemon amaranto. And I couldn't water it because it was hanging and I did not want to disturb the nest. I know people are saying you can still water it, but I was still terrified, so I didn't and um it died but here it is again it's coming back if you rem remember how this looked a couple weeks ago i think a month ago hold on i don't even know i don't even know but it looked really bad and now there is a lot of new straws coming in we call them straws because they look like straws but they're just like new leaves they're honestly so great it makes me super duper happy you can still see the nest right there i don't take it off because it's kind of cute um the actual the other nest that they actually kept uh, the bird's gone already. She um, graduated last week. It was a beautiful moment. We had champagne. I'm kidding. I'm gonna drink. But um, she left already. He or she. We don't even know. Um, it could be whatever it wants to be. Uh, the little birdie left. I was really happy. I could finally water my Hoya. So she's currently outside living life. Um, <laughs> okay. I don't know what else to do. See, I'm t like, that's how much it, I love them. Like, I just, I'm looking at them. And I just can't stop smiling, like, that's how you know. Okay, <laughs> stop, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll show you this one. This is a zebra plant. We recently got it at a big box store a week ago. When I came back, we saw it and I was like, oh yeah, it's like a side. <laughs> and you guys, I saw, okay, some people might think I'm faking it. Girl, I could be fake, okay? But y'all know, y'all, if you know me, you know me, like, uh, if I don't have the energy, I'm not gonna fake it, like, um, Y'all yeah, know that I'm real, I'm blunt, okay? And then number two, uh, people think that I do drugs. I don't do drugs. This is all caffeine and depression. Um, a mix of depression and caffeine really 
does this. Um, I think it's great. So yeah, here's the zebra plant. She is beautiful. I love her so much. She is slaying, popping, giving. She is giving what she's supposed to give. Now, before I boost her ego, this plant can easily die on me because it doesn't like to be underwatered. Um, that's the only problem. Now, these plants also do like high humidity. Uh, my apartment is humid, so it's really humid in here. I honestly hate it so much, but my plants are loving it, and also the muddy bugs. Um, so it's next to the kitchen. The, I have it literally ignore the mess. Um, the paleta, girl. I'm gonna, okay. I bought this paleta at, at home. I'm gonna, I was gonna use it for the beach, but like my mom was like, you can't put that in the ocean. But I'm gonna be like, watch me. So um, I'm gonna use it for the pool too. Look at that. Period. Girl, I don't even like water on it too. It's my mom, but it was on sale and I needed a floaty. So, red does not look good with brown. Can I say this? But um, it's super cute. It's <laughs> so random. Um, girl, oh my god, it's funny. Y'all know me like, I'm goofy. Like, I don't know. I think there's, I think there's just so much negativity in the world. There's no reason to be negative. So, if you can be positive, be positive. There's already enough negativity out there. You know, people need like, 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 I don't know. Um, so here's a zebra plant. Yeah, she's so cute, but I swear, <laughs> there's a chance I might kill her. Um, it's from Urban Jungle. I literally love Urban Jungle so much. I talked about my Instagram as a person, they didn't like the post. I'm kind of like, do we have beef or something? But uh, I'm kidding. Um, I love Urban Jungle. Like, I think it used to be close to farm until the thing I found out about the thing, and then the other thing was. They're raising the prices a little bit, um, me no likey. So Urban Jungle is still staying with the prices. I actually got, which is on the list too, I got a plant, oh he's Valentino. I got a plant even cheaper. I got a plant cheaper than what it was before. And it's very lush, very full, and it has a little legs. I am such a sucker for these pots with the little legs. Aren't they the most cutest thing, girl? Oh my god, and me, I usually like cringe with cute things. Like when I see a baby, I cringe. Like, <laughs> I don't like cute things. Um, my boyfriend said cause like I get jealous. Maybe I am a Leo, I don't even know. Anyways, um, so, this cute, I'm not a Leo, I'm a Capricorn. These legs are so cute. Guys, uh, Urban Jungle, if you're watching, keep, keep putting this. I literally have an addiction, like, I <laughs> Keep doing these. These are so cute and they look really great. I love how it lives these plants. Um, it's a beautiful plant, you guys. Look at that. I am really scared it's gonna get many bugs. <laughs> I have a bad infestation right now. For some reason, there are some plants and that's it. They're not spreading that much, um, which is great. It would be great not to have them. Um, I also have spider mites. It's in this alocasia. But I'm gonna do a plant choice video after this video. Um, so you guys are gonna see the plant choice video tomorrow if you're seeing this up to date. We're gonna take care of that. <laughs> I'm not the best, but I know Captain Jack's people say it works. I tried it, it didn't do so I don't really know. But she's so cute. I love the pot of the legs. And I paid $12.98 for this cuteness. For this, I could have bought a combo at McDonald's, right? But um, that would have lasted for like 30 minutes. Honestly, that's a lot, like two minutes or like devour that. But this is forever, if I can keep it alive. Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> and it was crazy because I was like, I've never seen a different plant online. I mean, um, on the big box stores. I've seen them in local nurseries. They're rarely, uh -uh, not, not my sofa, girl. Girl, he's been scratching my so I think I have to I need to buy him some new ones. I did buy him some. I bought a I bought him a tower. He didn't like it, and that's how I knew he likes the cardboard ones. So this is from Lowe's actually. Kind of funny, right? Um highly recommend if you have cats, kind of heavy. Highly recommend that one. It's a little bit priced like 20 something dollars, but Lord does it last kind of long. And your cat, your cat looks super duper cute sitting in it. He loves to sit in that. He's usually on that. Although he's like like that. It's, the most cutest thing. I should probably post a picture on YouTube. Okay, if I see him doing it again, I'll post a picture on YouTube community post and you'll see it because it's the most cutest thing out there. It'll make your day. If it doesn't, I don't know what will. Um, super cute, love this plant, love the price. It's just crazy that they're selling it now. It looks kind of like yellowish, but it's not. Um, beautiful, it's just crazy, guys. I'm really, really surprised that I found that in Lowe's. It's, oh my God, I'm taking too long. I'm so sorry, girl. You have so much to go, I gotta go fast. Um, girl, keep an eye out for that. If you have high humidity or if you can create that for the plants, um, 
get it because <laughs> it's a little bit finicky if you don't give it the humidity and if you underwater it next up are snake plants i have a lot of snake plants and um i just love snake plants in general <laughs> i have a lot i, I want to do a video because i've been trying to collect them like pokemon i just snake plants are amazing they're just so underrated literally they're so underrated and there are so many different varieties and they're the most amazing beginner plants like they love to be neglected they do love getting love um you just don't water it too much because that's how you'll kill a snake plant but i girl i've been having some of these for like honestly some years um uh, some are new some are for years and then some of them are looking for a cell um just almost i don't know the names i'm trying to label all of them i kind of stopped during that my little phase but i'll get back at it like living labeling oh my god i'm burping so much let me show you what i have um i bought these I got my mom into it a couple last year, I think, when I was living with her two years ago. Cause it was great. It's like zero sugar, zero calories, zero everything. Um, it's the unsweetened sparkling water from HB. I love the coconut one. It's so good. It's really great. Um, it's just really carbonated. That's why I love it so much. Um, it's literally delicious. I stopped drinking it cause I got into ice, the drinks ice. Um, and then I went to my mom's when I was looking after my brother's couple weeks ago and she had some and I tried it and I was like oh my god why did I stop that's like really good so I got it again <laughs> and then I have my little double shake espresso as you can see um cute I love it when they put little babies I wanted to take off the dead leaves but I girl <sighs> she's so cute like how can you not want this it's the most cutest thing and they put out babies they put out the most cutest little babies like you can buy the most cutest terracotta pot. This is, oh, there's a web. There could be a spider in here. There could be, that's how old it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a crack. It's been like that for super duper long. I kind of like it. It gives it like a character. All right, let me show the other snake plants pretty fast as much as I can without getting distracted. This has, okay, this was one plant and then it put out two babies as you can see. She had twins, y'all. Oh my God. It's so cute. And like the variegation is beautiful. That foliage, are you kidding? Do you have a snake plant? If you don't, why? They're just so cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some people are like, I just don't like them, David. I get you. But like, why? <laughs> they're just so cute. They're so cute and they're so easy. <laughs> um, here's another one. I got this from Corpus. I paid so much money for it. So I have a tuck. $17 for these little. But um, it's super cute. And I've never seen the snake plant before. So I had to get it. Um, adorbs. Literally adorable. We're going to carpets, as you can see with the paleta. I kind of like that in the background. Let me put it back. Um, we're gonna go on July the 27th, I think so. So, really excited for that. Boyfriend is really excited to go fishing. Um, let me know if I should vlog it. That'd be kind of cute. Like going, I usually like to go and film multiple locations if I can in Corpus, but I think it'll be fun to just put it all in one video, right? Like just put like, I don't know, I have to figure it out. But like, you know, put it like us going over there, what we're eating, which will usually be fish tacos because I love me some fish tacos and fishing with the boyfriend and then like plant shopping at local shops because there is two amazing, and there's three, there's another one, um, shops that have like the most cutest plants and they have like uncommon plants too. So I need a budget to go, ooh. Ashley, I need a who? I'm kidding. I love her videos. I love how she does like the budget videos. Very smart, I love that. This is a starfish Sansevieria, as you can see. It's super, super cute. And even the best part about this is that it came from my little plant. I had this for three, I'm not, I think three years. Look at this, you guys, it's okay. I mean, <laughs> literally, it's funny cause like, I got this and they were tiny. It was like three of them. It was, and I, if you remember, if you remember during OG, I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God. It's like the dad, the mom, and the baby. And now they're so grown up. And I think I had another baby. Oh, they've been busy. Mm-hmm. Um, there's like, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's a new little one coming in. Six. Now the family came from three to six. Mama and dad have been very busy. Super, super cute. I also saw Melly's in that, so I probably got to take care of that. Here is another one. You know what I noticed? Um, my, my Melly bugs, the Melly bugs have been loving the Hoyas and the snake plants in my collection. So I gotta take care of that ASAP. 
a lot of neem oil that i'm gonna use neem oil doesn't get rid of them i know but it does help a little bit and that's all i have right now i know there's a lot of other stuff i can use i know i can um manually physically kill them with rubbing alcohol and i probably will uh, for funsies when i'm stressed out because it is pretty satisfying seeing them burst and seeing that little orange reddish jelly coming out <laughs> um yeah here's a fern wood sense of area the reason why i know is because i had this for i think oof, four years i'm surprised she hasn't grown that much but she's still alive and she is still here oh i'm gonna get emotional literally the amount of memories this has is insane like she's been with us for so long and hopefully longer she is so cute <laughs> like isn't that so unique you guys like I just like my hair to be honest, period. Okay, we love that. And then we have one more sense of area. I mean, there's a lot more in my collection. Let me show you the money bucks. Don't, okay. If you just skip, okay, sk I think it's over here or over here. Just tap, tap, tap. Just skip it. If you're squeamish and you don't want to see the money bucks, don't judge me, okay? I'm just bouncing back from my depression episode. So, you can see the money bucks. Yeah, I know. Don't kill me, don't. I know people are gonna get mad at me like. But I'm gonna take care of it. I, today I have a lot of energy as you can see. So I'm trying to stay as positive as I can so I can get this done. Cause if not, um, I will get overwhelmed and then shut down and I'm trying not to do that. So I have a little sesta <clears throat> caffeine and we're gonna figure this out. So they're gonna go bye bye pretty soon. And I think this is a pretty good plant to burn off and show you how to kill them with rubbing alcohol. Um, and the planters video that I'm gonna film after this one, but this is a beautiful snake plant, and I love that it has little babies. And sadly, one of the babies is getting taken over with, and it's just that one. See, this one has like almost nothing, and the mom has nothing too. I mean, they're probably hiding, but this one's like very like you can really see it. So I'm gonna be busy. Alrighty, next up is going to be the Barragon Scandapsis. I'm just really really obsessed with this plant. I love the foliage. It's beautiful. One of the newest leaves are having this weird little phase. And also my Mosteta Peru, which I will show you pretty soon. But I love, 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 love the foliage. We got this on a, online on Etsy from Botanicas on an unboxing. And she was super duper long. I chopped her up because I wanted it to be bushy. And as you can see, she has, there's one, there's a, there's a vine over here. And there's a new one, develop, you can see it right there. There's a new one developing. And then there's obviously this one. So we love chopping up plants. And then the propagations that I had are these. Success, oh my God, successfully propagated. Here we go, look at that, ooh. That's beautiful. So I got two now. All right, next stop is going to be, I guess the other one that I literally just got yesterday. Last night, if I, and I posted a video last night too. If you haven't seen yesterday's plant shopping video, I got this insane, beautiful plant. I think called Tricolor or Natiniki. I don't even know. I'm gonna label this for sure because I, y'all know me with, with the names. I gotta get better. Um, I did not pay $22.90 or $23.90, which is usually the price for these. For some reason, I paid $21.98. Um, either they got in cheaper or this is an old tag, but it was insane. I was like, yes, please. And then look how bushy it is it's just so crazy i had this one but i left it in my grandma's and it's one that my boyfriend got me i know um she got she grew like a feet but it's in my grandma's now um i got a new one so i'm really, really happy about that i did felt bad and so my boyfriend bought it so we went to h&b and bought him food <laughs> um, <laughs> so and then the, this pot i'm telling you like the texture, the aesthetic, the look, the fact that it's not so perfect, it's like, it has this little like characters, like, oh, and the little legs, the little fat chunky legs are just so cute. Let's see if I guess over here. I love how like these tags have like the information. Urban Jungle, oh, hit me up. <laughs> I just, ooh, period. Um, ooh, you wanna say hi to them, babe? Okay, give me a second. Super duper cute, let me show you about it, you know. Come here, baby. Is it better? Ben. Come here, baby. Come here, sugar. What? Stop rubbing yourself with the turtle. Look, you're gonna say hi, okay? Look. Look, baby. Hi, so good. Look at the camera. Okay. He just woke up from his nap. He's a little bit snappy. 
I got him these. He has an addiction with these. Yup, as you can see. I know, babe. Um, I just to pick which one. He put his nose on this one. So I got him this one, Salmon. This is a two. I'm gonna feed him right now so he can leave us alone. Oh my God, it's like when the parents put like the baby like their bottle so they can shut up. Um, let me feed him this and I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, get the mask. He's eating behind the air fryer. Um, I feel like I should show you because they wouldn't be like, you beat him up, girl. He's like right there eating right now. Um, yeah, that was a tiniki. I, I'm calling it tiniki. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna label it correctly pretty soon. Am I gonna put it next to the snake lens because it's have Melly's and I'm not trying to transfer to that. I guess next up we can do, I guess this one. My peace lily. <laughs> I'm laughing because like this came from a four inch pot five years ago. Bite me. Um, look how big she is. And this is not her actual pot. Let me show you. Um, she's actually in this pot. Um, I think she needs to be repotted. It's dripping water because I just finished watering it. It's from this pot. Girl, look. Ooh. I am so proud of this plant. I just cut up, it keeps blooming. Uh, I just cut off some flowers and I'll show you in a bit, but uh, look, isn't this crazy? I love peace lilies. I do. This is so pretty. It's a. Uh, Domina peacefully. I got it from Plantarina. That was my first unboxing from her. And I just grew so much. Crazy that it's been with me for so long and I cannot wait to repot it in a bigger pot. I kind of like it in this pot, but I think it's time to um, repot it because I feel like if I do repot it, oh my God. <sighs> I was like looking up and I saw the brown part. I thought I was a person. The way I almost fainted, I got chills. You now see my little hairs? You can't. Um, and then here's a, so since that's my favorite, I'm gonna show you these other two pieces of these because I want to show you that there's a lot of varieties out there and the pieces of these are pretty fun. They do need a lot of love. <laughs> they get thirsty pretty fast, especially right now since it's super duper hot and it's the active growing season. But they honestly they have all bloomed for me. And y'all know which pieces I'm like trying to find. Well, not find, but like I find it, but I always find that when I'm broke. <laughs> um, and we're not having money, which is why I bought the tiniki, but I gotta control myself and not buy too many plants because I need to do it and to pay some bills. Um, it's that jumbo one. Oh, what is it called? It's that big piece lily. God damn it, I forgot. It's like a, it's like the classic piece lily that we always see, but they have these massive leaves. Girl, I'm trying to get that one. So here's another one. It's just called platinum mist. Peace Lily, she's really big, but that's how I bought her. She's not in this actual pot, she's in this one. And honestly, she does need to be repotted. Well, my bad, well that as well. And she needs water. I drowned her in water two weeks ago, and now it's bone dry. They drink some, that's, that's a sign that she needs to be repotted, but they have been drinking a lot of water, which is pretty crazy. And this has bloomed for me a lot too. You can see that beautiful grayish, bluish, greenish, you, and it's beautiful. It's almost giving up the same color as I'm, I, I'm gonna. I keep. I look down and I look up. This keeps scaring me. Sorry, I'm gonna do right It's. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Girl, that's the second time. I don't like it. I don't like watching scary movies. And here's another piece of leaf. It's called Jessica. I think so. Jessina? Or Jessica. Look at that. Yep. It came from one plant. Yes, it's on one side, as you can see. I have it like, yeah, so. <laughs> uh, it was from one plant from Arid Asia. A long, I think this was the first, one of the plants that they first gave me. And that was a year ago or two years ago. But crazy. Look, look at that variegation, that foliage. And it has so many babies. Wow. Oh my God, look at this new leaf. This is 1,000% Instagram worthy. I don't know why I haven't posted it. <gasps> Look at that. Damn. That's really, really pretty. And then I got this one too. Um, I was gonna show you, I to show you the tiniki, but I had to feel like I'm a lot of treats. This is, I keep forgetting what it's called. It's with an S, I believe. It's a, a rubber tree, but it's a, I don't know, girl. It's one of the new ones, and they just did tissue culture. It is really, really thirsty because it was outside, <laughs> and I have to water it, but it has grown a lot. 
It's been really, really loving the warmth. But I think I'm gonna set up my big grow lights because I have so many, I have trees now. I have my rubber tree right there. I have this one too. And I have some other ones that I know will do a lot better in a grow light inside, but it needs good height. <laughs> so this is a gorgeous one. And it's one of the new ones. If somebody can let us know, I'll pin it and the I'll pin it in the in the comment section. But god damn it, I think it's called Shim Shimira, something like that. I paid $32 for it, which is a little bit high, but these were like literally in the hundreds. So for like a little plant. So this was this was insane. This was a really, really good price. And they will keep on dropping. Um and I would not I would not be surprised if Urban Jungle will start selling these and I possibly would buy another one from from them. If I find them in the cute little pots again, honestly, cause like, this is just so pretty and I do really good with them. Like, I do really good with them. I do good. People say that they, they get more finicky the older they get. Do they not like to be moved or change environments? So my, for example, this one, here's another one that I have. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start chopping it. Um, anything more that it tastes, here's this one. Look how big she got. I might chop it. So when it comes up this new leaf, anything above that, I'm gonna chop it because I want it to be like a tree. I do want, how you call it, like, uh, there's a, there's a phrase for it. Where this, where it's empty in the bottom. God damn it, I, ah, I hate when I forget words. But yeah, I want it to be a canopy. <laughs> I want a canopy in the bottom and really, really bushy on top. And that's gonna happen with this one because she's getting a little bit bigger. There's Valentino hair everywhere. But yeah, it has three plants. This is a really little, little baby one. It's gonna take time to grow. But I'm gonna start letting that happen because I want it to be bushy. The way I'm gonna let that happen is I'm gonna cut it. And like I said, anything above it, I'm gonna cut it. Um, and it will like do, it, will, it might split or it might, is that a spider web? Am I really gotta clean? Well, I clean, but I gotta do a deep clean, which is like dusting everything. Cause I know Halloween's coming up, but we don't want those kind of spider webs. Damn, that's a lot. Um, it's, not really, it's like the corner of the window. Now, I expose myself. I make myself look so bad sometimes, but I just can't, I just can't. Just... So yes, I'm gonna do that. It might split or it might do three. I'm hoping it can do three, like, like trees usually do, and that's an actual tree. So yeah. I'm also looking for a fiddle leaf. I want a fiddle leaf so bad. I've been seeing them a lot in the big box stores, and honestly, no matter the fact, I don't know, I don't know. I could, cause we would always, when we move, we're gonna move pretty soon, like I think in three or four months, which how everything's going by so fast is gonna be very, very soon. And um, let me get the next plant. And we used to put everything, we used to move with our car. <laughs> so we would put everything in the car um, and we also removed stuff. But now when we came back, we got a U-Haul and that changed a lot so i know like that's a very common thing to get a u-haul when you move but we never knew about that and then i saw a tiktok and i was like maybe we should use a u-haul and I, I was scared because i thought it was like very complicated but it's honestly not um it's all by the app a lot of it or online and yeah it was great so i think i might get it okay if i see a fiddle leaf and i have money then i'll get it because they're kind of expensive like 120 usually but if i see it um on sale that means it would be like $60, I will snatch it. Um, I, I would want to do that. I kind of want to get two fiddle leaves because um, it's just so beautiful. They they really, and I don't struggle with fiddle leaves. I don't struggle with fiddle leaves for some reason. I usually struggle more with a Drancina than a fiddle leaf. So yeah, next up is this beautiful month, Bergera Mostera Peru. Um, if you ever remember, it was just three leaves and now look at it. It's doing so good. Nice, a lot of, and I never remember like when it, look at this, I don't know why it does that. I think it wants to go up. It's been giving me some small leaves. I might fertilize it and hopefully they can fix it. If that doesn't work out, then I know what it wants. It wants something to climb on. I guess hope it can just vine, but I guess not. So it's such a beautiful plant and there's so many nodes I can chop. Now, when I first bought it, it only had three leaves and two of those leaves died. I almost killed this plant. And then I bought it back to life and I'll look at it. We were telling me like, David, it's reverting because like when the new leaves come out, they're green. They almost, they look like this. Like you, you don't see any variegation. You gotta like really look through it. Um, but as it hardens off, like this was green and look at this chunk. This was green too and look at this chunk. Um, it's doing really, really good. So really proud of this beautiful burger of de Peru. This was one of my wishes plants for super duper long. And I finally got it and it's doing really, really good. So 
I know that she might need something to climb on. Um, the platinum mess, I didn't even show you, it's blooming. Like I said, they keep on blooming so much. You can see the white flower right there. And then my dominant piece of leaf, I was blooming too, but I just cut it off because the entire plant's really, really toxic for plants. Valentino does not bite the plants, but he does like to rub his body against them some more than others. And this, if you notice, like, it drops pollen like crazy. So obviously he doesn't bite the plant, so it's kind of safe. A lot of plants that have it, a lot of plants that are toxic, but he doesn't bite them. Um, back then he would drop them, but now he, he just doesn't do it. I guess he got over it because I yell. <laughs> but um, now he just he just rubs against it. Um, sorry, I have to yawn, and I'm not gonna edit that out because I'm lazy. But this is one of the flowers I cut off and it's really, really beautiful. They're just, they're such beautiful flowers, you guys, but I just can't have them. Um, they, they're so messy. Literally, they're so messy, but that's really, really exciting. And we have two more, I believe. Wow, look at that. Okay, next up is this cute little guy that we just got a month ago. I keep saying just got, but it was like weeks, not months ago, but it's, uh, what is it called? I what it's called. Variegated strawberry begonia. There you go. And as a little baby, you always see. Well, they're variegated too, but you see the other one. It's like you you've seen this before, just not pink, but you've seen it before. They have them hanging baskets from Costa Farm at Lowe's and Home Depot, the local big box stores. Um, but this is a really really cool one. It has. It's so cute, <laughs> and the fact that it's, I, it's because I had this before twice, and I killed it twice. Um, I'm, I was underwatering it, but now I have it in a saucer, and I drowned this sucker. Like I drowned the saucer with water, and it's been doing really, really good. It has such beautiful variegation. I love the pink. It's just super cute. I don't have a lot of pink plants, but the ones that I do have are gorgeous, and I do love it a lot. I love, I love the little baby. I'm gonna go ahead. And when it gets a little bit bigger, the baby, I would love to put it in its own little pot and let it grow um, and give it to my mom and then do the same with the others, trying to propagate them and um, do like spider plants, to be honest, and have them as backups because again, I killed this plant before and I don't want to kill it again. So, but I do want to give it to my mom. She, her favorite color is purple, but her second favorite color is pink. So I think she'll like that. Um, I always tell her just get a soft watering pot or make sure you put it like somewhere you always see it because they do not like to dry out. Strawberry begonias, usually begonias in general, do not like to dry out at all. So keep an eye out on her. Mm. That's really good. Okay, we have one more. She's looking a little bit sad. Today is watering day. I don't have days to water my plants, but today I do have to water a lot of plants. I'm just saying watering day. It's my manjula potos. <laughs> she is big, right? I do have another. <sighs> that scared me. I touched this part, it was weird. The, the stem is really thick and freaking me out. Um, she is thirsty, as you can see. You see how floppy she is? Usually they're very firm and gorgeous, but um, she's thirsty. I do have another one outside that I have for super duper long and it came from a four inch pot and now she is huge. But I don't like getting her because she's like in nails. It's, she's too big and then she's, she's no. But look at her, look at this one. This is my other one. And I cannot wait to repot her in a bigger pot. She is in the hanging basket coastal farm ones, but it is time for her to upgrade it to a bigger pot. So, Manjulas are really, really beautiful, you guys. We actually saw one yesterday um, at the Lowe's that we went plant shopping at. It's a little tiny one. We had lots of Marocan photos. So, yes, if you're looking for that, you, you can get that. I get love photos a lot. I mean, this is not part of the list, but I like other plants are my favorite. Um, this is my marble print photos. I have a bigger one, which I will show you. I'll put the camera and show you. Um, this is my other one that I got. <laughs> I love photos. They're just super great. They really do give the um, indoor, what the hell? They do give inside a very nice tropical feel with their vines and just beautiful variegation. Um, like even the golden photos, this is a marble print photos. Some might say it's a snow queen photos. I think it's a, I, literally, I've seen my marble print photos become into a snow queen photos and vice versa um i think it just depends by the light that you give it 
yeah so <laughs> this is a very very cute plant and i like it too because like potos in general they communicate with you as in like you can usually like my manjula potos you saw how like flimsy she, she is a good happy potos is nice and firm so but by the time you see that you can just honestly a lot of times you can just rub your hands what i do this is good for like it's good and i think it'll be good for like five days four days and then she'll need another water um even then if you're still under watering it like if you pass do it they will just give you the leaves but that's an easy fix you just chop the vines and it will push out new growth above and sometimes even in the end where you chopped it so they're really really forgiving plants basically and they do communicate with you when they want water and they do so so good like they literally do so good so yeah i love this plant so much and look he's in his couch right now so i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and show you what's going on because there's so many cute stuff going on okay so see <clears throat> you just like to like what do you call it also you can see all the the cardboard pieces and the leaves from picking up the plants i will vacuum it a bit hey sugar you like your stuff on her baby he is so cute i love him okay you can see all the plants around us i gotta clean y'all i gotta clean but we're gonna do a plant choice video and a house choice video you're gonna see that tomorrow if I can finish it today. Um, and here is the Moroccan photos that I was telling y'all. One of my biggest, it's like huge. And it's in this massive pot. I you guys can see that right there. Here's my whole Chelsea as well, which has Melly's and I have to, it hasn't spread surprisingly. I mean, very little on the other ones. It's more interested in the Hoya because Hoya's have very like thick, juicy leaves. Um, yeah, and then I can show you guys outside since we're already doing it. Oh. I almost dropped the plant. I can show you the manjula that I was talking to you about. See, the manjula? I, it's kind of annoying to lift it and stuff like that, but this is outside. The Thai constellation is putting out a new leaf. So that's really, really exciting. There's another marble queen potos. And then that's the Hoya that the birds were like laying their baby and now he's already gone or she or he. So yeah, here's another snake plant. My orchid already finished blooming. One of its newest leaves. Yeah, and here's the location that I was telling y'all that I gotta go ahead and um, treat. I know, it. it has spider mites. See that? Those are, sp <laughs> those are spider mites. Yes, ma'am. That's the most nastiest thing ever. But I noticed that, I know you made it. David, why is it so close to your plants? Uh, Y'all, they, they're not gonna go with the other ones like very rarely. Like right now they're still enjoying the alocasia. So they're just gonna still chill there. I think I might go ahead and buy Captain Jacks and try it again. Oof, that's so bad. Wow. Wow. This makes me look really, really bad. I'm gonna treat that literally ASAP, so. <laughs> uh, and I'll give you guys updates. So I really just exposed myself. I look like such a bad plant parent. But y'all, yeah, that's what happens. I was really, really depressed. I didn't want to take her. I mean, I, I'm not diagnosed to be depressed. I haven't gone and gotten diagnosed, but I know when I get my phases, when I get overwhelmed with bills and stuff like that, it's just life in general. And I don't take care of any of my plants. I just drop all of it. Um, so yeah, but right now I have enough energy to take care of my plants and I want to do it where they're almost take care of me as well mentally wise, because they do, but usually, other stuff take over so like i said right now i feel pretty good and i want to take care of them i want to fix those problems and if i can fix it uh some of you guys oh my god as some of you guys can relate you, you get like a release of dopamine inside like while well, i just fix something or i just took care of something or i put my tlc on this plant and i was bouncing back um so i'm really excited for that to happen because I think that's what I what, that's what I'm craving right now. I want it to take care of something and I want it to flourish and I want to feel good. I want to feel like I'm doing something. So <laughs> that's basically it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I give you a little sneak peek of what I'm gonna do. To, well, I'm gonna do it right now, but we're, we're gonna see tomorrow. And yeah, sending out positive vibes. We love you so much, Valentina. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.